1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 10. And let these also first be proved. Then let them use the office of a deacon being found blameless. The deacon must be proved when it comes to his holding of the mysteries of the faith found in verse number 9. Also, he is to be proved when it comes to his character. There's no reason to ordain a deacon into the office without first proving him to make sure he is able to use it properly. That's according to 1 Timothy 5.22. Lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partaker of other men's sins, keep thyself pure. Once the man who desires the office of a deacon has been found blameless, after you have watched his conduct and proved his doctrine, then he is fit for that office. Remember, blameless does not mean that they never sin, but rather they are found blameless in the context of 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse number 2. The same way the bishop or the pastor is blameless, so too is the deacon to be found blameless. That is, they are saved first and foremost. Second, they are sound in the faith. Third, they are sound in doctrine. And then fourth, they are good stewards. Then this man should use the office of a deacon. May God bless.